This is Mission Control Houston. The International Space Station crew on something of a split shift, getting ready for the arrival of another load of supplies in a Russian cargo ship. The Progress number 48, or 48P, scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome at 2.35 p.m. Houston time Wednesday afternoon and to dock to the station at 8.24 p.m. Wednesday night. It will be the first time that a Progress would launch and dock to the station on the same day. After the crew's morning exercise and some Russian public affairs events, Commander Gennady Padalka and Flight Engineers Sergei Revin and Yuri Malenchenko were sent to bed for a few hours in the middle of the day, since they'll be up late monitoring the Progress arrival. Flight Engineer Joe Acaba started his day setting up and performing the capillary flow experiment, which is a fluid physics investigation designed to learn more about how fluids behave in a microgravity environment. Flight Engineer Aki Hoshide set up the ultrasound equipment for use with the integrated cardiovascular experiment, and then he assisted Akaba in gathering data to quantify any atrophy of the heart muscle due to the absence of gravity that the crew members are currently experiencing. In the afternoon, the two worked together taking more readings for that integrated cardiovascular experiment. Flight engineer Sonny Williams worked on the advanced colloids experiment, looking into how colloids maintain their relatively even distribution within materials while they're in space. And then she did maintenance in the afternoon, installing uh, jumpers for the express logistics carriers. Akaba, Williams, and Hoshide start their regular sleep period Wednesday afternoon, but then will get up early and join their Russian crewmates to help document tonight's arrival of 48P. The crews won't get back on the same sleep shift until Thursday afternoon after they finish leak checks between the Progress and the pier's docking compartment and open the hatches to the cargo vehicle. They're scheduled to begin that work about noon central time on Thursday.